Hey, sweet friends. Welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and more. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. I have a grocery haul for you guys. I have Ollie's and I also have a base haul um, at the commissary on base. First, I'll show you what we got from Aldi's, which was not a whole lot. It was just a couple things that we didn't pick up at the base that we were like, we knew we could probably get cheaper at Aldi's. And my daughter wanted to check to see if they had her macaroni and cheese there, but they did not have it at Aldi's. So of course, like I said, we got the things that we were looking for. So I just got a pack of hot dog buns. We're gonna have a cookout on Sunday. My, I told you guys that my best friend from Virginia is a Virginia slash West Virginia now. She lives in West Virginia now because they built a home in West Virginia after I moved out of West Virginia. And then um, now they are selling their home and moving to Texas because her husband got a job opportunity there. So, um, so I also got the sour cream and the cottage cheese. Let me go ahead and put that away. Um, it is cold stuff. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Um, so I'm super excited. They're coming. Her and her kids are coming um, tomorrow. And I'm going to stay a couple days. I'm super, super excited. Um, so like I said, we thought we'd do a cookout on Sunday. So I picked up this, some bread. That way, um, like if we do toast one morning or sandwiches or whatever. Um, and then I got some of the Clancy potato chips because kids love chips, right? And then I got the Big Dipper potato chips. My son loves those. Um, and then they didn't have any of their brand of, um, they didn't have any of their brand of the hamburger um, buns. So um, I got these sesame seed brioche buns. Because, like I said, we're going to do the cookout, so we'll do um, hamburgers or cheeseburgers and fry, uh, cheeseburgers and hot dogs, and then I'll probably like make up some macaroni salad and we'll have like chips and stuff too. So, uh, okay, so, oh, and this, I also got this, this milk chocolate. It says made with real hazelnut spread. Because I knew that we had graham crackers here and I knew that we have plenty of marshmallows, so I thought, oh, well, maybe we could do s'mores one night too. And if we don't do them outside, we can do them in the oven. Whatever, it'll be fun. <laughs> Um, and now this is my haul from the base. So you guys see me haul these tuna creations from Dollar Tree. They're $1.25 and only 93 cent at the base. And I got the hot buffalo, the bold. So I thought that would be good. It sounded yummy. So let me get this cold stuff real quick out of the way. Just got a half a gallon of milk. It was only $1.27 there, which was super cheap. I got this Tropicana strawberry peach. Paradise, it sounded really good. And then I also got the caramel, the Starbucks caramel macchiato. Um, Y'all know I love that, that's the iced espresso. Let me go ahead and put this away. Get this in the front. I put my coffee at the back until I use up my other coffee. That's my Bojangles iced tea. That's our pomegranate. Y'all, I'm just talking to myself. Don't pay any attention to me. I'm not actually talking to myself. I'm actually talking to you guys. <laughs> and then I also got this package of the super sweet whole kernel corn. Everything that I bought was way better priced there than I knew that would be like if I went to Walmart. Um, so that's where I got it. And then this is the Pick Sweet Farms sweet potato crinkle fries. And put that away. And then my husband and son, they both love the chicken bacon chicken bacon ranch subs um, from like Subway or wherever. And I I had something under my eye. But um, I saw the hot pockets in the big and bold. It says 50% larger chicken bacon ranch ranch blasted crust it said so i thought mm, if my husband one of them will like it and hopefully both will like it and we can get more and then my son loves these hot pockets pepperoni pizza ones he likes the uh the garlic buttery crust so i got those and then um 
The Sargento, I got these Colby Jack natural cheese sticks. You get 12. These were only like a little over $2, which was super duper cheap. Um, Cause you would not get that at uh, Walmart or Food Line or a place like that. Not unless it was like on a special or something, you know? It's, um, it's never that cheap my way, let's put it that way. If it is your way, let me know guys. Okay. Um, and then um, there's a recipe my daughter wants us to make. So she wanted to get the linguine noodles. So we got those. And then um, I got lemon juice. And these were 82 cents for the lime. So I got two lime, one lemon. And then this, uh, the shredded Parmesan cheese, this is for that linguine meal that my daughter wants to make. Um, it's, it's gonna be like an Alfredo, but it's gonna have like a, um, like a lemon juice and Alfredo and Parmesan cheese. And so we picked out the Classico four cheese Alfredo. We got two because we definitely love ours, like super um, um, saucy. We do not like dry spaghetti or dry, you know, linguine or anything like that. Um, so we got those for that meal. And then um, my daughter also picked out these um, Sapporo Ichiban, Ichiban chow mein. She got those. She loves to try new things. And then I picked up these um, no yolks, the big dumpling noodles. Um, and my, the recipe my husband, a friend of ours up in West Virginia had made and um, like a year ago and my husband really liked it. And so he said, look for those big noodles. So I got those. And then I got an ear of corn to put out there. Um, many, many halls ago, Dollar Tree Hall, there was a adorable horse that I found that you stick on your tree and then it has the air area for the corn to stick down on for squirrels. And it even has like a little seated area there, metal seated area for the squirrels to sit on. So um, I got an ear of corn for the squirrels. And then I got a thing of mayonnaise. It's the Freedom's Choice mayonnaise too. It's the base brand. Um, and then I got a thing of the cherry Kool-Aid and then the uh, mixed berry Kool-Aid because I thought the kids would like that. So I'm going to make up two pictures or I'll probably make, because they're not going to be here that many days. I'm going to make up one picture, see how quick they go through it and then I can make the other picture up. And then I got two of these. These were 96 or 97 cent, the Glade Lavender and Vanilla, because I like to put these in our bathrooms. Um, that's just my ice maker, if y'all heard that. Um, and then I did get two of these 7-Ups. And then I got these Toasted Chips Original. I think they were like just, uh, just under $2 or just right at $2, like $2 and a couple cents. They were super cheap compared to grocery stores there on base. Like I said, I really watched what I was getting um, because you just have to do that now. I mean, you just, you just do. We had a good bit of meat, um, but I did get a little bit of meat while I was there simply for our cookout and then some bacon. My, my, my son loves this maple bacon and we hardly ever find it anymore. And it's always a great price at the base. So I got two of the maple bacon, two of the maple bacon, and I do not think I have any more room back here or out here. I'm going to have to put it, I'm going to have to put it in the back. <laughs> I'm going to have to put it in the other freezer. And then, try to get this cold stuff out of the way. And then I got this, um, the provolone cheese because my husband and I are going to make flatbread and we might make it tonight. Um, but we had got some like, um, deli ham. Let me show you. We had got deli ham um, from Food Lion a couple days back. These are the Bistro favorites. It's the Black Forest uncured ham. We had got that, and in, in, um, let me show you the the flatbread. And I got this at Food Lion. This is the um, tandoori flatbread, and um, we're gonna make a flatbread meal. And so we'll probably make that tonight because we gotta get those ate up because. Yeah, we gotta get those ate up. And then, if y'all heard me talk about any time I ever mention anything about hot dogs, because I'm not a hot dog lover, but I do love the Nathan's brand hot dogs. I can actually eat two of them because they're so good. This is the Nathan's eight bun length skinless beef franks. 
There's no fillers, no bad products, no artificial flavors or colorings, no gluten, no corn syrup. I highly recommend this brand, guys. They're so good. As a matter of fact, when we were in New York, they had a vendor there set up in, in um, Central Park, and they had um, Nathan's. It was Nathan's Hot Dogs, but we didn't get one. And then I also got the Ballpark Bone Size Franks because my husband loves the Ballpark ones. Um, and then I got a thing of the ground beef, which was like $3, I think. It was cheap too. And then I got a thing of the cream cheese as well. I'm trying to put this cold stuff away, guys. I'm trying to hurry, guys. I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to hurry. Um, let's see. Let's see. There's that. And there's the hot dogs. I do have room to put them. Um, it's a bad, I mean, not a bad. It's not a bad problem to have when you're running out of um, room to put things in your freezer. <laughs> Um, and then my daughter also got these Jajang noodles. She wanted to try those. And then I got a thing of the chicken tenderloins because my son has been craving me, craving for me, not craving me, he's been craving for me to make um, chicken tenderloin for him, um, chicken nuggets. He likes when I make the homemade chicken nuggets. And then I also got the um, stir fry, a thing of stir fry. And this was $2.71, and these were $3.61. And Max thinks I have something for him, but I don't. Do I, Max? No, I do not. Run out of ring, guys. Run out of ring. It's okay. I'll make it work. I'm sad. I made it work. <laughs> like a Houdini in there. All right. Oops, sorry, Max. And then, almost done here, guys. We got two of the Ben's Original Cilantro Lime Rice. We absolutely love these. We got two of those. And then, I was able to find my Bella's Purina Bella food. This is in the uh, Porterhouse Steak flavor, you get six. In the Filet Mignon flavor, you get six. So for $12, this was about $10.50 or $10.59 which was super cheap compared to grocery stores, uh, Walmart and Food Line. And then I got another pack of this um, Act 2 six pack. Uh, this is the butter flavor. Um, we, we can go through some popcorn in this house, let me tell you. Um, and then, that's all that. And then I got these, these caught my eye as soon as I walked in the door. The Reese's Pumpkin Peanut Butter Flavor. Love those. I think we all love those. So yeah, those were my two hauls. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day and a fabulous weekend. Stay safe, be kind, and until next time. Bye y'all.